spots for hikers. We talk about the gorge. Now we're talking about the coast. We're talking about Cape Kawanda. Yeah, in just the last few uh, months, actually, it's claimed almost half a dozen lives, most of them in their teens and early 20s. So we want to know what's being done to keep people safe there. We sent our Chris Holmstrom to find out. It's one of the more popular trails along the Oregon coast, a beautiful sight for sure, but it could also be dangerous, especially if you don't pay attention to the warning signs. What do you say? I can't hear him. You're looking at rescue video from the U.S. Coast Guard. It was taken just last month. In it, you could see them rescuing two firefighters who were hurt while searching for a teen who fell from Cape Kawanda. The search for a teenage girl who fell into the ocean near Cape Kawanda has been suspended. Her body was never found. Then there was this one from last summer. A Salem area teenager is dead after he fell off a cliff at Cape Kawanda on the Oregon coast. Five deaths in the last eight months. Concerns I took to the Oregon State Park manager, Pete Marvin. The amount of visitors to the Pacific City area and Cape Kawanda has increased dramatically. Visitors wanting to experience this scenic area. Many of them not familiar with the dangers. Like a lot of other areas along the coast, uh, there's cliffs, waves. People have to be careful. Uh, it's, it can be a dangerous area. But still, some take chances, like these two men hiking the Cape. You can see them bypass the fence and continue their hike. Well, we have a fence that goes across the Cape, up on top of the, the, the most traveled area of the Cape. Uh, there's signs that, that, that warn about danger, not going beyond certain, this fence area. The sign also warns people about staying away from cliff edges and being alert for high waves. But as we've seen in the last few months, not everyone listens. That's why state parks will be hiring a seasonal beach ranger for the summer. And not so much for enforcement, but to educate the public about the hazards that there are down here around Cape Kawanda. Reporting from Cape Kawanda, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Quinn.